A sneedocyte is an explosive cell containing one giant secretory organella sneeder that defines the phylum sneedaria. Sneedocyte is also called the stinging cell. Snedaria used for prey capture and defense from predators. Despite being morphologically simple, lacking a skeleton and many species being sessile, Snedarians prey on fish and crustaceans. A snedocyte fires a structure that contains the toxin from a characteristic subcellular organelle called a snedocyst. Nematocyst is also called the stinging organ. The toxin is usually a hypnotoxin. This is responsible from the stings delivered by a sneedarian. Structure and function. Each sneedocyte contains an organelle called a sneeder or sneedocyst, which comprises a bulb-shaped capsule containing a coiled hollow tubule structure attached to it. The immature sneedocyte is referred to as a sneedoblast. The externally oriented side of the cell also has a hair-like trigger called a sneedocial. Sneedocial is a mechano and chemoreceptor. When the trigger is activated the tubule shaft of the sneedocyst is ejected and in the case of the penetrant nematocyst, the forcefully ejected tubule penetrates the target organism. This discharge takes no more than a few microseconds and is able to reach acceleration of about 40,000 grams. Recent research suggests the process to occur as fast as 700 nanoseconds, thus reaching an acceleration of up to 5,410,000 grams. After penetration, the toxic content of the nematocyst is injected into the target organism, allowing the sessile sneedarian to devour it. Discharge mechanisms in a dye capsule stores a large concentration concentration of calcium ions, which are released from the capsule into the cytoplasm of the sneedocyte when the trigger is activated. This causes a large concentration gradient of calcium across the sneedocyte plasma membrane. The resulting osmotic pressure causes a rapid influx of water into the cell. This increase in water volume in the cytoplasm forces the coiled sneedocyte tubule to eject rapidly. Prior to discharge the coiled snedi tubule exists inside the cell in an inside-out condition. The back pressure resulting from the influx of water into the snedocyte together with the opening of the capsule tip structure or opiculum triggers the forceful eversion of the snedi tubule causing it to right itself as it comes rushing out of the cell with enough force to impale a prey organism. Prey detection. Since they are single-use cells, and this costs a lot of energy, in order to regulate discharge, sneedocytes are connected as batteries, containing several types of sneedocytes connected to supporting cells and neurons. The supporting cells contain chemosensors, which together with the mechanoreceptor on the sneedocyte, allow only the right combination of stimuli to cause discharge, such as prey swimming, and chemicals found in prey cuticle or cuteous tissue. This prevents the sneedarian from stinging itself although sloughed off snedi can be induced to fire independently. Types of snedi Over 30 types of snedi are found in different sneedarians. They can be divided into the following groups. Penetrant The penetrant astenotel is the largest and most complex nematocyst. When discharged, it pierces the skin or chitinous exoskeleton of the prey and injects the poisonous fluid, hypotoxin, that either paralyzes the victim or kills it. Glutenin, a sticky surface used to stick to prey, referred to as tick assists and found on burrowing anemones, which help create the tube in which the animal lives. Volvent, the volvent desmonium is a small and pear-shaped nematocyst. It contains a short, thick, spineless, smooth and elastic thread tube forming a single loop and closed at the far end. When discharged, it tightly coils around the prey. 
They are the smallest nematocysts, a lasso-like string that is fired at prey and wraps around a cellular projection on the prey, referred to as spirocysts. Depending on the species, one or several types can appear simultaneously on the organism. The specific representation of snidae is referred to as the snedome of that species and may represent a dynamic aspect of the snedarian species that is responsive to prey availability of the developmental stage of the organism. Nematocyst toxicity Nematocysts are very efficient weapons. A single nematocyst has been shown to suffice in paralyzing a small arthropod. The most deadly snedocytes are found on the body of a box jellyfish. One member of this family, the sea wasp, Chironex fleckeri, bulls, claimed to be the most venomous marine animal known, according to the Australian Institute of Marine Science. It can cause excruciating pain to humans, sometimes followed by death. Other snedarians, such as the jellyfish Sarnia capillata of the siphon of four can cause extremely painful and sometimes fatal stings. On the other hand, aggregating sea anemones may have the lowest sting intensity, perhaps due to the inability of the nematocysts to penetrate the skin, creating a feeling similar to touching sticky candies. Besides feeding and defense, sea anemone and coral colonies use snedocytes to sting one another in order to defend a wind space. Venom from animals such as snedarians, scorpions and spiders may be species-specific. A substance that is weakly toxic for humans or other mammals may be strongly toxic to the natural prey or predators of the venomous animal. Such specificity has been used to create new medicines and bioinsecticides. Animals in the phylum C. tenophora are transparent and jelly-like but have no nematocysts and are harmless to humans. Certain types of sea slugs, such as the nudibranch eolids, are known to undergo kleptognidae, whereby the organisms store nematocysts of digested prey at the tips of the serrata.